Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shamira Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today is a garden tour. Finally, the garden is somewhat back to where it needs to be. There's some dead things in here that we need to take out, but it's time to show you guys the winter garden. Okay guys, so we have got the garden back to where it kind of needs to be when it comes to like what had happened with like the painters and that, but we do need to start taking out some of the old stuff because the temperatures have dropped. As you guys can see, I'm in a long sleeve and I'm kind of shivering because <laughs> it's cold. So the temperatures have dropped. A lot of my things that were like that on the, like the verge of like, it better be warm this fall in order for it to grow. Those are gone. So they just need to get taken out but there is a lot of greatness back here. I'm so excited to show you guys. You know what, let's just go take a walk. So guys, it has been raining and it has been raining and raining and raining, which is so good. My garden has needed the rain because we didn't get a monsoon this year. So that the rain provides just so much more to a garden to where it just, it blossoms when it rains. And we've had probably like three or four days of rain just this past couple of days. So, and then we had a, more rain the week before. So yeah, let me show you the garden. So guys, first up in our Vago garden bed is our, this one is our herb bed. It's our cascading one. So we have some parsley down here. We have some sage growing, some green um, garlic chives, and we have some parsley right there some oregano and some chervelle and then also some German thyme. Now these ones I had cut all back because they had paint spray on them. And as you guys can see, they are already starting to grow back nice and fluffy. <laughs> now up here, look at this guys, all the carrots that I thought were not going to pop up are actually starting to pop up which is pretty cool. We had some carrots over there that had already popped up, but we also have a celery right here. And then these are leeks, excited about that. This is the first time I'm growing leeks in my garden. And then this was our emergency herb pot that we had got from the store. It has sage, thyme, and rosemary. No, I did not separate them. Yes, I probably should have separated them. Um, a lot of you guys said, put it in a bucket of water, but I had already thrown it in there. I was rushing to kind of get things done. So I put it on the top of the cascading bed. So my hope is, is that there will be enough room for the roots to kind of grow down between this one and this part of the bed because underneath here is also dirt so hopefully that'll be fine so far it looks really really good guys and i have cut on this thing several times when making like dinners and stuff like that during the fall and then we already have our thai basil over here which is starting to look really good to where i can probably start cutting on that that i use for pho soups um they're vietnamese soups so in have a vietnamese cooking i use thai basil for and then we have another sage right there now in front of it, we have our big rosemary, which I did cut back all of the paint spray on that. And look at this guys, it is bushing out nicely. I need to get it in um, some more dirt, like repot it. And then that way these roots won't be kind of popping out and showing, but it's doing good. We have some collards right here in a pot. And then we have some mustard greens right there in a pot. And then over there we have our sweet marjoram. So guys, I'm so happy that my herbs are doing good because we really depend on our herbs for flavoring of our food <laughs> because we don't use bottled seasoning. And I'm super excited to see those carrots pop up. I was actually getting ready to plant more carrots in that spot, but the rain just kind of helped everything and they popped right up. So that's exciting. Now for the brassica bed. So guys, my brassica bed is looking beautiful. All of the worms are gone, so nothing's eating on them. And as you guys can see, these are the ones we had cut all the way back to like two leaves. Like we had just left like this leaf and like that leaf and look at how nicely they have grown back. And then our ones that we started from seed in here, like we just planted the seeds in here, these ones are starting to come up. They're a little bit behind these ones because these ones are older than those. And then we have some more back there and then that one over there. Over here we have our kale. This one is our dinosaur kale and this is dinosaur kale. And then in between here we have our Brussels sprouts which looks so weathered. I'm going to probably cut some leaves off of the Brussels sprouts. These ones just got 
attacked and then got paint on them and then a ladder put on them so they went through some stuff but we have our lettuce this is our lettuce that we got from the grocery store that we just saved and it was a live lettuce that I bought you guys can see it's already starting to get a lot of new growth on it so that's nice we have our celery this is one of many celeries in our garden guys because we separated all of that celery that I had got and all of it survived so there's so much celery in the garden our Swiss chard is looking absolutely beautiful look at all those colors look at how pretty that is so that's gonna be on the menu soon and then we have another kale plant down here now we do have a turmeric in there that I'm hoping is fine and then I have to replant all of these radishes so guys part of the change in the garden up at the front is that I moved the table that was in the back up here so I'm pretty excited I think that it's gonna give it a nice like little better like layout we had the table up there years ago but it allows me to use my back door again so up in front here we have some dinosaur kale that looks really good we have a collard green we have, this one is a Anaheim pepper right here. Um, this was the one we had started from seed. So here's the thing, guys. I had started this one from seed. I thought it was a jalapeno. It was not a jalapeno. It's an Anaheim. So I put the little, I found an Anaheim tag in my garden. So I put that in there. That was the pepper that was like super hot last year <laughs> that I thought was a poblano. Totally not. This gets better. We have some or some celery right there with another kale right there. We have Diane, who's our mystery pepper. So Diane is doing great. We have the plebano, which I thought was a plebano, is not, because those are clearly jalapenos. <laughs> and then we have another pepper, which I'm pretty sure is a jalapeno, but it doesn't really look like a jalapeno. So, I don't know what that is <laughs> and then we have our cayenne pepper which is doing good as you guys can see we've got some cayennes growing on here moral of the story is I really screwed up on my peppers and Home Depot that was supposed to be in Anaheim clearly it's a jalapeno so literally we have just a garden of mystery peppers who knows <laughs> who knows guys so also in my hot pepper section, I have some carrots back here. I found that this is a great place to grow like carrots because carrots don't need a lot of light. So even though this table like does shade it a little bit, it does get some sun, which helped provide just enough for these carrots to grow. I need to plant some more carrots in that one because none of the carrots, well, the carrots got dug up by Henry there. Then we have more celery here in these little pots. You guys will find that you can grow celery pretty much in anything. So I have them in pots, I have them in beds, I have them everywhere. We have some thyme right here that is growing back after getting chopped down. I think I can finally start getting the grains off of this amaranth. As you guys can see, those little black seeds, those are the grains. I think I'm gonna need to grow a lot of amaranth <laughs> to be able to get something meaningful, but we're gonna try it out this year. We have some spearmint. Spearmint is so amazing, I love it. I use this a lot in our lamb when I'm cooking it. Back here we have some collard greens. There's always one collard green that looks different. That looks like it could have been a mustard green, but it's a collard. And then we have some more celery back here. And then just over here by my shelf, I still need to get a better spot for that. But here are our green onions that we grew, as you can see. Um, these are the ones we had started from seed. They're still looking like they might do something. I don't know. They went through some things, guys, with the painters. These were covered and then also had a ladder put on these, too. But we planted some that we got from the grocery store, and they are already starting to push out new growth. So all in all, the front part of my garden is doing pretty good. Now let's look at the middle. So this is the middle part of my garden. Don't mind my water hose that I did not put away. <laughs> but we have our lime tree over here. This one is a dwarf Mexican lime. We have our curry tree, which is putting off new growth. You see that, guys, down there? It's putting off new growth, and then it also has, like, little nodes where it's putting off new growth, too. So that's nice. But it's still growing up here. So that looks pretty good. We have some more thyme right there. We have our potatoes right here looking good. 
We have a Thumb Tom tomato, which is starting to put off little tomatoes. We have our shishito peppers, which, ugh, so many shishito peppers are coming off this plant. We have one shishito pepper there, one shishito pepper there, and then two shishitos right there that are starting to flower and fruit. We have Yuli back here that is now starting to look really healthy. Yuli's doing great. I think Yuli might be a Roman tomato. So we are going to see, hopefully it is because I need a Roma tomato in my garden. We have Big Nisi over here, which is um, Miss Eggie's baby. So there's Miss Eggie over there. She is definitely five years old now. So that is pretty cool. And then we have a cabbage in here too. Not sure what type of cabbage I planted. Probably a Jersey cabbage, but we'll see as it gets bigger. And then over here we have some spinach that got a little bit wrecked and then we have some celery up above here look at these little tomatoes guys aren't these cute these are the uh, the tom thumb tomatoes and then we have some lettuce in here and then some mint i need to plant and some more thyme i need to plant and then back here we have our beautiful mulberry tree look at how much taller it got guys it's almost to the top of that window right there it is so tall, so beautiful. So now we're heading to the back part of my garden, which has some great things growing and some destruction <laughs> because these were, were some of my fall things were growing. Oh my God, guys, I just looked up and there's two hummingbirds dancing on my arches. Let me see if I can get them. Do you guys see them? One's right there and one's over there. I don't want to get closer because I don't want them to fly away, but let's see. They're just kind of dancing at each other. <laughs> so cute. So it was so super cute. They were just kind of like dancing at one another. One just came back and it's like dancing at me too. <laughs> but I love hummingbirds. It's so cool that we can get hummingbirds in the desert. So create a space and they will come. That little guy just flew so fast by my head. Oh my God, it scared me. So over here we have our black cherry tomato. Look at the growth on this, guys. It has gotten so big. It's starting to climb the arch. I'm excited for this. This is gonna produce so many black cherry tomatoes for the fall. We even have our basil down here that is still looking nice. It's starting to really grow itself back. It's gonna keep bushing itself out. I'm gonna keep cutting it so that then it doesn't like, you know, get too much frost damage when it gets cold but it'll it'll be fine that one is two years old too we have our ginger looking amazing we have some um peas right there that are doing good and then we have some more cabbage over here this one is a chinese cabbage right there our beans guys all oh, the beans are done the cold got the beans but that's okay we're gonna plant probably like another cabbage or two in here but we do have a, another Roma tomato that looks like it's gonna survive back there in the bean mess. We're gonna pull up all the beans, but we do have lots of celery, so much celery. We are probably not gonna have to grow celery next year because we have a ton. And then we have our snapdragons. They grew back, who would have thought? <laughs> so we have the snapdragons growing back there. And then, so this one is the green turmeric, guys, and it's pretty like rooted in here. It's really rooted in here. So I think that the green turmeric is gonna be just fine. We do need to come back here and start cutting back our lemongrass because it is giant and it's blocking some of the sun from the broccoli. But look at the growth on this broccoli, guys. The broccoli is finally looking happy. It's gone through some bug damage, but the, it's too cold for the bugs now, so it's looking good. We have some more parsley right there and another cilantro right there, and only one of my peas popped up over here. So we need to grow another one in there so that can kind of equal out. So the same thing with these turmerics too, they're kind of rooted in there. This one's the black and then that one's the orange, so I have high hopes for them. Don't know what that is. I think it's either a turnip or, no, you know what guys? That's a golden beet. So I do have one of my golden beets that came through. And then we have our cucumbers died, but we have our Detroit beets right here that came through. Yes, I do remember now. That one is a Ukrainian gold beet. So hopefully that's what those other two right here are too, because that would be nice. 
So now we could finally use our back door again, but in front of it, we have our uh, Roma, or no, sweet macaroni red peppers, which are my favorite peppers, and they are starting to blossom and throw off peppers. So super excited about that. We have some more orange hat tomatoes up here and look at, they have like little tomatoes on them. It's so cute and adorable. And then down here we have our lemon balm, our um, borage dyed, but we do have some hyssop growing in there. And then our mustard green dyed, but we do also have the yarrow. I was a little disappointed about my borage. I thought the borage was gonna be great, but the borage got trampled. So there went that, but we will try again next year again for borage. But our big beefsteak tomato is doing really nicely and our radishes are finally starting to bulb up down there below. And look at this guys, this is a nasturtium. I have not planted nasturtium in my garden for like two years now and it keeps just popping up places, which is so funny because this is hard dirt. Like this, there's no soil, no topsoil, no nothing. But somehow the nasturtium, it just, it decides to grow. So I'm gonna let it grow. Now over here, our green beans have died on the arches, but see how pretty these would have been, guys? These ones are the rattlesnake pole beans, and they are so beautiful. But we're going to plant them again in the fall, or not the fall, but the spring. So hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of those because, yeah, look, look at how gorgeous these beans are. So pretty. So sad that one died early. And then we have our potatoes in here that are looking like they need it to be healed up again, but we're just gonna continue to let those grow. And then lastly, we have our cauliflower. So there's one, two, three, where we plant it in place of our sweet potatoes. So that's it guys, that is the garden. We are growing some stuff inside too that I just started because there are a couple more spaces I can fill up in here, but we want the garden to be absolutely ridiculously full <laughs> because we have a lot of growing that we need to do. This is our season. This is our time. But I hope that you guys had fun on my garden tour. I am heading off to work. And until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye, guys.